Hey guys, it's Steve here again, and in today's video, we're going to explore and really build upon some of the same techniques we talked about in the first drum lesson, that of the drop catch technique, and we're going to add one more stroke to this and call it the drop drop catch technique, and even take it a step further than that. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to play now three consecutive strokes on each hand. Um, and we're going to play two drops and then a catch. Okay, so first in the right hand, drop, drop catch and then in the left hand drop drop and catch and really the most efficient way to practice this is to play and practice triplets from hand to hand so this is how that would look and sound going from slow to fast Okay, and something I really want to re-emphasize from what I talked about in the first video, and that is that you really want to accentuate the catch stroke and really pull the stick up with your fingers, especially when you're first learning this and first practicing it. So really pull the stick up, because I think that's going to help you later down the line um, as you develop technique. Um, otherwise, you might find that your technique is rather sloppy. So really focus on that when you're first learning this. So again, this whole approach can be used in a variety of situations and contexts. So if you're an aspiring rudimental drummer, or if you're a jazz drummer, um, you can use this whole approach. If you're working on your up-tempo swing, and you're working with your ride cymbal pattern in your right hand, you can use this whole method. Okay, So like the traditional ride pattern um, would sound like this, you know, or any sort of variation. So I'm not gonna get too much into that now. I'll probably save that more in depth for a future lesson when I get on the drum set. For now, I wanna focus on how you can use this more in a rudimental context, since I'm just dealing with the pad here. So really, you can use this to play and practice some of the more um, difficult rudiments to start out. And I always found that um, the rudiments in the flam family were particularly difficult to play accurately and precisely and at a, a decent speed. Um, the flam tap um, especially always gave me problems and that requires that you play three consecutive strokes on each hand. So if we use drop drop catch um, we can actually make, make it a little bit easier. So that looks and sounds something like this. Okay, so another infamously difficult rudiment I found as I was evolving as a drummer in the flam family is the flam paradiddle, and that requires you to play four consecutive strokes on each hand as you're playing the rudiment um, consecutively. So we're actually going to um, play three drops and a catch now. So it's going to be four consecutive strokes. So that looks and sounds something like this. Okay, so that's a real difficult rudiment to play fast and precise. It takes a lot of practice to do that. So, and you can use this approach not only with some of the um, traditional rudiments, but also with some of the more contemporary hybrid rudiments. 
Um, there's a hybrid rudiment called a, ch a cheese paradiddle, um, where you're just adding a diddle to the beginning of the flam, but it's really the same principle. There's that, there's also a, a, something called a cheese double paradiddle. Uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Really this, it's really the same principle. You're using wrist and then a lot of fingers, okay? Um, now, as you get more advanced in rudimental drumming, you'll find that when you're playing different etudes and solos and exercises, they require you to play many strokes, sometimes two, three, four, five, six, or even more strokes consecutively on each hand. Um, so using this whole uh, method of dropping and then pulling up and catching the last stroke um, will help you with some of those excerpts. So with that said, I actually want to put this into context for you now and show you how this can be used in a practical sense. So I'm going to play a solo out of this book called The Rudimental Cookbook by Edward Freytag. Um, it's a great book. It's got a lot of challenging stuff in it. And if you're an aspiring rudimental drummer, I highly recommend you pick it up. And this particular solo is going to illustrate what I just talked about using a lot of different flam combinations. So this is called Five Against Two by Edward Freytag. Okay, so you can see really the essence of this whole approach is to use a lot of wrists and a lot of fingers in harmony. That's really, that's really the whole idea behind this, and this will come up over and over again as you're evolving as a drummer. See you on the next video.